loves what's popping up hope nature is treating each and every one of you right today's tutorial is a power skill changer it's a very short video yet very informative simple and straightforward we shall be learning how to make this dress it's actually a dress with peplum at the front which is making it look as though it's topping down we shall be learning how to insert boning bra caps eyelets from the cutting to stitching to designing to finishing and to fitting they oh so and so what i want you to do now is to take a chill pill stick stay keep watching to the end of this content these are the measurements we shall be needing for this tutorial these are the basic materials we shall need for these tutorials we need our tape rule two half bra caps we shall also need our armhole case this is optional our scissors our rule and interfacing the main fabric and its matching line Lining. i've already gone ahead to divide this video into two parts i've already uploaded the first part which is the crafting part on the channel already kindly check that out after this video so this particular video will be on the sewing the finishing and the fitting now let's get started into the part two of this video these are the facing fabric pieces I've gone ahead to cut. I'm also gone ahead to apply hair stay to it, also known as the daughter stay. Once the hair stay was sticked to the fabric, let's go ahead and cut everything out. Once I was done cutting out, this was the looking. We apply hair stay to pieces to give them a little bit of firmness and structure. There are other reasons we take these two for now. Let's move ahead to join these pieces together. Making sure that the bus point and the amber bus point always align. I shall be stitching from this way to that way and on the other side. I shall be doing the same thing over there. I shall be taking this my sewing machine to join all these pieces together, including the lining. This was the looking after joining all the pieces together, including the lining. At this moment, let's go ahead and notch all around. We notch to let the pieces relax when we turn it over. Again, let's go ahead and create channels for our bonnets. I've already gone ahead to press the seam allowances to lie flat. That way, it will make everything easy for me to be able to attach the straps to the piece. I've gone ahead to attach the straps to the piece. Our channel is ready for the bonnet. Now, let's go ahead and insert the bonnet. This is something I usually do when I'm making pieces of dresses, especially dresses that I'm going to be attaching bra caps to give a little bit of firmness and structure when my customer wears it. This is another sewing tip you can add to your sewing skills for a better outcome. You can try it and let me have a feedback. To continue, let's go ahead and attach our bra cap to the dress right now. So what you need to do is to measure your bust point and your amber bust point. The most important point to take note is the amber bust point. If the amber bust point is wrong when you are attaching your bra cap, everything will be wrong. So start from the amber bust point. Make sure the amber bust point is correct. With all said and done, let's go ahead and locate our amber bust point. We shall be starting our attachments of the bra cap of the amber bust point. Just imagine during attaching your bra cap to your dress, you got the amber bust point wrong. Let's say one inches below your price is definitely gonna sag down and let's also imagine if you're under the bus point it's one inch above your price is gonna be hanging up there so so and so under the bus point is very cut now when attaching bra cups i know definitely that bus point is very important in bra cup attachment but hey dear can i tell you something different from experience i've come to the realization that under the bus point is more 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 important than the bus point in bra cup attachment at this moment let's fold our bra cup into two locate the midpoint and notch that Move to the underbars area, also notch that. We're also going to be doing same to the other bra cap. This is going to help us to easily attach this bra cap to our piece. Another tip I want to share with you, which is optional, you could buy that or leave it is at the amber bus point when you're attaching your bra cap you can try as much as possible to step up half an inch not more than half an inch it could be less than half an inch this is going to give your customers that lifting effect of a bus area remember this is a bra cap we are attaching and you want to get a little bit of lift man. now let's go ahead and stitch the bra cap using thread and needle even at this point there are options you could go ahead and use your sewing machine you could use thread and needle you can even use any glue of your choice. My recommendation would be go for the thread and needle method. This method is the easy way. So 
face. You're gonna be having full control over whatever you're doing and you can easily prevent stitches from appearing at the face in fabric. Now when you're stitching, make sure that your needle and thread passes through the same allowance. It shouldn't appear at the face in fabric, okay? Try as much as possible that you are sewing along the bias area where the allowances are and don't let the thread show at the face inside of this piece. So you're gonna be stitching at one end to the other end and you'll be guided by the notches you made already. Once you are done, you're gonna be flipping to the other side to do the same right there. Fellow seamates, at this moment, if you've enjoyed this video, have you learned something new? or you've updated the knowledge you already have or this is confirming a knowledge you already have definitely go ahead and smash that like button please if the video has not been helpful don't hesitate to click on the dislike button this is gonna help me to know the impact of the video and what to do next in my subsequent videos also try and subscribe to this channel this channel is like this is the best channel one must be if you are into sewing or fashion designing we bring your way tips and tricks easy ways easy method i mean how to achieve a perfect outcome remember it's not about the beginning it's always about the end this channel we're gonna lead you to always get the best outcome okay subscribe and be part of this wonderful family and let's grow together it costs nothing when you are subscribed so go ahead and click that red button there. I'm a fashion designer. If you have any question or you want me to cover a video to explain something to you, if you have any style that you want me to make a video on or you want me to tutor you for free, kindly send me a WhatsApp message on plus 233-55-0909-744-5. Send me a message and let me tutor you for free. Let me mentor you for free. I'm always available to answer all your questions. LSR fashion, we never disappoint. If you're in Ghana, Nigeria, in any part of the world, US, UK, Australia, everywhere around the globe that you want me to design or make any apparel for you, be it wedding gowns, African native ways, suit, dresses for kids, dresses for men, dresses for ladies, everything wearable, from fascinators to dresses to trousers to skirts, from designing kente dresses to beading it to adding pearls, everything you can wear, okay? We do global delivery. All I need is your dress size. Or I could make a video call with you, take all your measurements and make your dress for you, deliver it to you wherever you are. Remember with LSR fashion, location is never a barrier. Contact us and let's do business together. We never disappoint. The next video I'm going to be uploading on this channel it will be how to make your own customized bra cup. I think these bra cup out there are quite expensive. So I've come up with a way to make your own bra cup perfect bra cup that will be the next video i'll be uploading subscribe and be part of the family make sure you turn on the notification bell when i upload this video you will be the first to be notified don't also forget to share this video to your fellow seamate remember sharing is caring voila we are done attaching our bra cup look at how beautiful it is looking this is going to accommodate the bust of my customer she's quite bursty i'm loving it already let's go ahead and attach the lining piece to the facing fabric so i'll make sure that the right sides are facing each other this way and i'm gonna be stitching from the armpit area up there move to the neckline area into the other armpit area when i'm done joining them together let me flip it over and let's see what's up and again let's go ahead and notch all around remember i told you notching is very important because it makes two fabrics join together with curves relax perfectly this was it of the it it's looking nice already it's very structured and very firm the next thing i want us to do is to go ahead and top stitch on the same allowance i'm going to be doing that top stitch making sure the allowances are relax towards the lining so this is the back piece let's go ahead and work on the back piece these are the lining as well let's place the lining at the back piece making sure that the right sides are always facing each other i shall take it to my sewing machine stitch from this point to that point and to the other point towards the armpit area do the same to the other pieces once i was done i will go ahead and notch at the neckline area and at the armpit area 
then let's go ahead and turn everything over i had gone ahead to turn everything over and this was the looking already now let's go ahead and insert our eyelet so i'm going to be marking two inches away from the center back and i'm going to be making a straight line downwards do same to the other piece as well i'm also going to be top stitching this path about quarter of an inch away from the center front area and i'm going to be stitching two straight line at the path where i came out by two inches making sure that it is the width of the boning i'm using then i'll go ahead and stitch also going ahead to attach my eyelet i have a video on my channel already on how to insert eyelets on your own even if you don't have the grommet machine i've taught that already on my channel you can go ahead and check that out in that video i also mentioned the differences between eyelet grommet grommet plier eyelet plier in those halves go and check that video out let's go ahead and insert our boning on the other side and on that side and i think our back is almost set okay the next thing we have to do now is to join the pieces of the upper part to the lower part of the dress so this is the back part i've inserted my invisible zipper so what i'm going to be doing now is to first of all attach the back piece what i want to do now is to first of all lace up the corset this will make everything easy for me that's what i usually do always work with what work best and faster for you then i'll be attaching this piece to the skirt path of the back making sure that i follow the instructions when i was cutting if you know what the video on how i cut these pieces kindly check that out and you're going to be understanding everything better always remember knowledge is power and remember what you know don't think that is all somebody might know better or somebody might even know the easy way or the fastest way that you might not know so whatever knowledge you come across don't ignore try and watch it try and read it you don't know what you're going to be picking you don't know the good thing that you're going to be learning that will revolutionize your sewing skills so try and go and check that video out right now let's go ahead and join all the upper pieces to the lower pieces of this dress so firstly let's mark all the midpoints on both the top and the down and we're going to start arrangement from that side and we shall be doing same to the back piece too then we take it to our sewing machine stitch round and knit it <laughs> to join all the pieces i also attached a very short peplum when i was stitching them together i'd also gone ahead to attach bias to the hem part of the peplum attach this to give it a little bit of flavor in the design this is how the back was looking so the last thing is i'll go ahead and get the modesty panel for the dress since my customer wanted to cover up her back the zip was giving everything was nice look look at this wow nice hemming everything was perfect this is a very beautiful dress you would love to try out i also gone ahead to make the sleeve and i'll be attaching it this way and stitch thanks for watching